back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for Supernatural Pan Interrupted. This is a painting project that I created so so long ago back in 2018 August 19th 2018 to be exact and it is all about the TV show Supernatural and I have decided to paint a product for every episode that ever aired all 15 seasons and yeah this has been taking a long time and I'm, I'm okay with that I'm okay if it takes a long time but I really don't want it to take like the next 15 or 20 years so um you know I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit because um yeah I'm on season five <laughs> and there's 15 it's a lot so anyway like I said it started in 2018 doing six episodes at a time the number six is very pivotal to the tv show so I'm just doing six at a time I started with the first six and as I finished up a goal on a episode and a product and I rolled that out and then I rolled in the next episode in order and yeah it's been very interesting it's kind of like a little trip down memory lane every time some of the episodes I remember better than others and you know that's just the way it goes I need to really go back and watch them all again you know it's a whole time thing you know how that goes but I am very excited to do this update because I do have two rollouts which means I have two roll-ins so let's let's do this oh and uh, by the way there's gonna be people linked down below that have joined into this it is not like an official with any group or anything like that it's just one that I kind of do on my own Amanda used to do it with me when she was still painting and doing videos and stuff like that I've had other people that have joined in and um, everyone that I know of that's doing it it's going to be listed down below if you want to join in, if you're into Supernatural and into panning and you want to join in, by all means, I would love to have you do this crazy panning thing with me. So without further ado, let's get into this actual update. The first episode that I have still in here is season five. The episode is Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. And I'm actually going to be rolling that product out because I've hit my goal. I had the Jessica Nails Cuticle Remover. My goal was to use this 10 times, which I've done. So that one is going to be rolling out. Next episode in order is Dark Side of the Moon. That was a good episode. And I chose the shade Luxy Howl at the Moon. And I love this. My goal is just to hit pan. I use it with my finger, so that's going to take some time. And I'm not mad at it because I absolutely love the shade. This is one that if I was ever to finish it and it's still like available, I will repurchase this one. So yeah, I'm kind of not in a hurry to finish that or hit pan on that one, but I will eventually have to do that. The next episode is 99 Problems and I actually have a shade called 99 from the ColourPop Digital Underground Palette and it is rolling out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, I have hit pan on it, which was my goal. I do have this on my inner corner today. It is beautiful. I actually am wearing it as a highlight too. Even though I already had pan on it, I, you know, I still wanted to use it. And I really enjoy this quite a bit. At some point in my life, I will attempt to finish panning this one. But for right now, goal is met and this one is going to be rolling out. The next episode in order is The Devil You Know. I have chosen the Wet n Wild eyeliner in the shade Turquoise. My goal was to use this five times. I've used it twice so far. It is not a shade that I'm going to use all the time. So, you know, there are going to be sporadic usages here and there. I will eventually get to those five, but I am not there yet. So that is continuing on. The next episode is Two Minutes to Midnight. I really liked this episode a whole lot and um, I'm not going to go through it all because I've explained them before but I chose the Glam Light Pizza Palette in the shade Garlic. Let me open this without blinding you with the mirror. That is this shade up here. My goal is actually to finish this but I have very much expanded the pan on it and it's still going to take me a couple of months to finish it but I'm making some good progress. And the last product that is continuing on and the last one that I have gone over is for Swan Song, and I chose the Lubriderm Skin Renewal Firming Body Lotion with a goal to finish, and I am down to this pink line now. That was brought in last update, so I knew I was going to have amazing progress on it because I have still been using like my body creams and body butters because most days are still pretty cold here. Though we do have a random warm day here or there, and on those warm days, I use a lotion. On the really cold days, I still use like a thicker, heavier body butter or body cream. So that's gonna 
get more usage as it gets warmer out. So now I am very excited because we are finally changing seasons. I will still be working on some stuff from season five, but I have two roll-ins and I am gonna be bringing in the first two episodes from season six, which to me is like the pinnacle of exciting right now because I've been working on season five for so long. So the first one is the episode Exile on Main Street. Uh, in this episode, this was kind of a crazy episode, a little confusing unless you were really paying attention, but Dean was living with Lisa and her son Ben for a while, kind of doing that normal life, giving up hunting, doing the day to day. And then like some mysterious things started happening in the town where he's living with Lisa and Ben. And all of those mysterious things really kind of draw him back into the life of hunting, which is, is kind of sad because he seemed so happy in some ways, not in others, but um, you know, his brother was no longer with him for various reasons. If you haven't watched it, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But so based on that episode and that description with all of this mystery happening in this town that pulls him back into hunting, I have decided to go with the ColourPop The Secret Life of Scorpio palette. And that is because it has a shade called Mystery in it which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna keep it simple because I have a lot going on, even though this is a pretty easy shade to work with. That is it right there. I am only gonna bring this in for five uses because yeah, I am way, way behind on so much right now that I just, I don't even want to think about trying to hit pan on a ColourPop shadow because they're so deep and they take a while, I know. I've, I've hit pan on a bunch of them, like one that is rolling out. It took quite a bit to do that. And mattes sometimes are even harder than shimmers. So I'm just gonna bring it in for five uses and then, you know, I will be able to roll it out without a ton of commitment. The next episode that I'm bringing in is for Two and a Half Men. This was also another very interesting episode. Um, there are babies that are going missing in this episode and the parents are being found um, because of like censoring in the algorithm and stuff like that, the parents are, are deleted. Um, I, I'm not sure how to phrase that, but they were not deleted by themselves. Someone else deleted them, if you catch my drift. And in one of the crime scenes, there was a baby that was left behind. And so Dean is like looking after this baby and trying to, I guess, find where this baby belongs, what happened to it, what happened to its parents, and then the baby gets stolen. It turns out that this baby actually is a shapeshifter, which, you know, if you watch Supernatural, that is not completely uncommon. And so then this baby is stolen, and it turns out that it was stolen by the baby's dad, who is also a shapeshifter, but he's like an alpha shapeshifter, and there's like a whole big thing, but I'm gonna stop there with my description because I don't like to give too much away, but based on the fact that this baby's dad was like the alpha in the, the shapeshifters, I have decided to bring in an eyeshadow called Alpha from Looksee. Yeah, it's kind of on the blue side. Um, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna swatch this one for you. It's pretty, but it's definitely blue. It did not look blue on screen when I purchased it, but that is it right there. And I am going to bring this one in for five uses as well. I'm like covered in all sorts of eyeshadow here. So both of these I am bringing in for five uses. I know that's not a ton of uses, but again, I have so much going on. And you know, if you've watched my channel recently, you know that we just started a new project and that was 50 items that I just brought in, which is crazy. I know it's crazy, but such is my life. My life is absolutely crazy and I'm okay with it. As long as, you know, it's good, crazy, good chaos, I can live with that. So that is my update for this month. Again, there's going to be people listed down below that have joined in. Some have been here from the beginning. Some have come in and left for a little bit, come back. Y you never know. Um, 
if you know of anyone that is doing this and they're not listed down below, let me know. And again, if you want to join in, by all means, just jump right in, pick some, pick the first six episodes, pick six products to go with it and just have at it. And let me know down in the comments so that I can get you put in my description box so other people can find you. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.